third, I had Lewis Hamilton, but that was the the, the, the moment I had was actually the um, the German Grand Prix because that for me was where the title mm. swung. Ferrari and Vettel just won the the race before at Silverstone, and you know you say they were they were leading the pack. The car was good, and Vettel was racing well. The, 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 it was a tight um, lead, and then that was obviously at Hamilton's home. Went to Vettel's home the next race where I don't think Hamilton had even won for I don't know how many years, and the man out of nowhere won that race, and it was a tight one between that race and then the Singapore qualifying where he the 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 time he set was absolutely mesmerizing. But I think because that just swung the the momentum Mercedes and Hamilton's way, and obviously he went on to win <clears throat> his fifth championship, I had to give that. we're coming near the end of the first podcast of 2019 uh the african player of the year uh nominations have been made uh the three all premier league players mane of liverpool obama yang of arsenal and mohammed salah of liverpool as well i'll give some quick statistics and it's probably going to be an easy choice when we decide it is probably uh mane these are for Club and country, mm-hmm. 2018, 56 goals. Sorry, 56 what goals. I say, what to give him to money? <laughs> money after the year, 2018. <laughs> that, was a, that was a Steve Harvey moment where he did the, where he did the, um, the, the Miss World. And he oh, was yeah. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Say? He made Philipp- the Filipinos of Colombia. And it was actually Philippines all the other way around. Yep. Oh, that was, I watched that video the other day. It's it came so from funny. my Facebook memories. Oh, that was it. And like, she was celebrating, oh. and then and then and he comes back out and he's like, uh, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> that is so cringe because it's like, you, like at that point you have to you have to change it. You know it's an error yeah. that it also been done, and like you, you wish you think you know you know I made a mistake. It's done. It is what it is. Well, you can't. Yeah. You know. You, oh. No, that was rough, man. But yes, mine didn't get fifty six goals, um, fifty six appearances, twenty three goals five assists obviously he played in the World Cup <clears throat> scored in the Champions League with Senegal yeah you forget no I'm just in my head I'm just thinking because Hathrop said to me not too long ago that Mane does more than just you know score goals and oh crazy. I know and he's telling me that he's better than Salah because he's not just scoring goals that like Salah does but he assists for the team and he's you know he's creative but five assists in the entire calendar year I mean that's kind of pathetic if you ask me <laughs> it, 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 it's poor it, it does in terms of that as for the position that he plays in when you when you see him go through the rest of them and you know what? I, I did my, my research I mean the, the numbers look so low that you're thinking I must have got something wrong <laughs> I was thinking but I, but I double I double checked I was like only five assists and you know I'm going to double check it right now again because it's that's a low amount because what this season he has only got <laughs> he's only got He's got we got one assist against Watford, which was in November, and he got one assist. No, that was in that was preseason. He's only got one assist in the in the in all competitions this season. You know what? Shakira soon take his spot. Dude, what's what's he actually doing out there? And last season he got well, the last season in terms of the calendar year, he got two assists against Watford in March. And he got one assist against Huddersfield in January. So that's... Wait. Is that four? Did I miss... International, maybe? No. One, two. No. Oh, maybe. Maybe internationally. Got four for Liverpool. 100%. That's four. No. Sorry. Miscalculation. It's four (laughs) assists. It's good for four. As, oh, that, that is an assist every fifteen games, fourteen games. That's poor. Twenty-three goals, to be fair. Um, so that's a goal every well, just over two games, and a goal itself in the Champions League final. Um, Obama Yang, obviously, we, we mentioned earlier, forty appearances in the calendar year, club and country. Mm-hmm. I think forty of them, thirty-nine of them for Arsenal, and one was for okay. Gabon, I believe. Uh, Twenty-five goals. And seven assists. So he, as a striker, he's got more assists than Mane. Mm-hmm. And Mohamed Salah, fifty-four appearances, forty goals, 
15 assists. I mean, there's only one man I can, I can, I can mention. Huh? There's only one man I can mention. Sadio Mane. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, 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 we agreed that Salah, Shala should win that, um, that award, yeah? 100%. 100%. I think that's as clear cut as it comes when it comes to mm-hmm. end of year awards. Finally, I said we're just entering 2019. Um, but looking back in 2018, what was your highlight for a, as a sporting moment, or event, um, match, anything? Not just football, but any sporting moment. What was your highlight? Um, there was a couple. There was a couple. I I tell you the ones that I picked out out of the bunch, but I think the World of Fury match is up there. Um, him getting up off the canvas in the twelfth round, mm. like the Undertaker. Literally, thought I was watching WWE when he, <laughs> the way he rose up from the dead. It was truly unbelievable. Um, that one was right up there, like in my top three. That one, and also the World Cup as a whole for two reasons one because we got to see a system that's in it's been talked about both positively and negatively Mm, for mm. a number of reasons which is VAR and we saw it at the highest level of football Mm. and saw how it can be introduced into football both internationally and at club level and I think it should be and it can work Um, and also because of England's famous semi-final World Cup run. Yep. Um, it was quite a World Cup to behold. Um, but I think for me, above those two, now I don't know how many of you <coughs> watch golf, but Mr. Tiger Woods, the guy got his first win in five years. Mm. Um, just what was it something like six or eighteen months before he was stopped for drink driving? Yeah. Was found with a number of intoxications in his body. Um, just came from a spinal surgery, whatever it was. Um, basically back from the dead, mm. and he came and won that. Uh, what, what cup was it in I September? Yeah, won the cup in September, and like the emotions and that, the, everything that happened. Yeah, when he won, I thought it was. Like to see a legend come back literally from so much struggles, like even in his yeah. personal life and everything that's just going on, and he's had like such a rough five years. Everyone's just rooting him out. He's never gonna do anything ever again. And for me, I thought that was the 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 highest highlight in sports for two thousand and eighteen. I think I was, was for that cup in September. Let me just check which one it was. I think it was the was it the PGA tour. Yeah, September 2018 wins the Tour Championship. Yeah, the Tour Championship. First win in five years. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that uh, that was that was brilliant. Um, it's funny because oh yeah, I was do I was going through for me yesterday actually. I put it on my Twitter thinking about my sporting highlights of um of the year, and I thought about that Tiger Tiger Woods win. Didn't actually put it in there in the end in the top five, but thinking back, it probably was. It could pro- easily have been in there, but there were so many. Mm. Um, yeah, I think what, what fifth I had. Uh, and it's, yeah, I had what was it, oh yeah, fifth I had uh, Chris Gale, uh, playing oh, yeah. for West Indies again for he hasn't played for us for a while to qualify for the World Cup. I mean, it's like it's a sad state that we have to have to qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> um, we're that bad. Um, it's the top eight teams automatically yeah. qualifying and the rest of the fodder have to go through the <laughs> so you're part of the fodder and we're now part of the fodder <laughs> like we are the first ever winners of the World Cup and now we're part of the fodder we were so close to not going through um, but yeah Chris Gale returned and we you're going to win it we ain't winning <laughs> we're lucky to win a game to be honest but I'll be there Nick Sports will be there as well um, in fourth I had who did I have in fourth? Was it Lewis Hamilton? No, I would thought you had him as your f- winner. No, no, no. I think that was no, no. I think that was third actually. Um, let me just double check quickly. Uh, oh, sorry, no. That Chris Gale was fourth. Fifth, I had um, 
the the comeback, the, the second forty five minutes at the Etihad, um, Manchester United against Man City. Oh, so this oh. was the game that Man oh. City were to win the league, and as I said, <coughs> in the grand scheme of things, mm. it's just a, it's a win in a derby. Mm. When you look at it just as a Premier League, it's like, what are you celebrating? Because they still yeah. won the league by a certain amount of points. And we just we just prevented them winning it at that stage. But it was a massive moment because I, I was there at the Etihad, outside the grounds. The Man City fans were furious. Like, this was their <laughs> moment. This was the moment that they were paying the right town. Of Man United. <laughs> yeah, at, at, um, at the Etihad, in front of our rivals, we're going to paint the town blue, the, the, the tide has changed. Uh, we are now the biggest club match. Everything was happening on that day. And they were two new up. Everything looked like it was <laughs> done and dusted. And out of nowhere, like, I, have, I don't know I don't know where that performance came from. We, we, were, we were possessed. And Pogba and Sanchez, the two, you know, are two key players who hadn't been performing um, at, the, at their best up to that point. And they came and just won the game. And, it just knocked the stuff in that Man City, even just for those, you know, for that rest of that day. Obviously, they came back and won it, um, the league anyway. As we we all knew, the other thing, we knew we, we, they were going to win the league anyway. Nobody was going to the game like, oh, we've got a chance to win the league. So everyone knew what this singular day was about, mm. and we made sure that Manchester was still red, regardless. Yeah, you won the league hundred points, cool. Manchester's red, and and. To this day, Manchester is still red. Until they can really... Is it really, though? It is. It is. They have to... There's a lot of history to overhaul when you're, when you're comparing to Manchester United. Within the league, cool. Yeah, you won the Champions League. Yeah, you won back-to-back league titles. How many years are you going to be dominant? There's so much. And if they were to lose the, the league this season to Liverpool, it just adds further fuel to that... <laughs> All right, yeah, you won the league. Okay, everyone's well, Leicester's won the league. You that was that team. You won would the rather Manchester City win the league than Liverpool. Oh, I would, I would, I would hundred percent because there's more history. Because than Manchester United. <laughs> Liverpool fans were comfy. Of course, there's more history with Man United uh, and Liverpool than it is. But Man City still got a way to to really reclaim um, that city. That was my fifth choice. I uh, said fourth was Chris Gale. Third, I had Lewis Hamilton, but that was the the, the, the moment I had was actually the. Um, the German Grand Prix because that for me was where the title mm. swung Ferrari and Vettel just won the, the race of four at Silverstone and you know you'll say they were, they were leading the pack the car was good and Vettel was racing well the, 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 it was a tight um, lead and then that was obviously at Hamilton's home went to Vettel's home the next race where I don't think Hamilton had even won for I don't know how many years and the man out of nowhere won that race. And it was a tight one between that race and then the Singapore qualifying where he, the, the the time he set was absolutely mesmerising. But I think because that just swung the, the momentum Mercedes and Hamilton's way and obviously he went on to win <clears throat> his fifth championship, I had to give that. Second, I gave it to Gareth Bale um, for that overhead kick in the Champions League final, I think. That we obviously we've spoken about Zidane best champion league of all time and all that kind of stuff, and for me that's up there. Like I don't know actually which one's better. For me, the Bells one's better, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm cool with that. And I st- to this day, <coughs> I still don't know how Ronaldo's one won it over Bells. Oh yeah, for for the Puskas. Yeah, no, no, not Puskas. No, no, sorry. for the uh, Champions League goals. Goal. I can't. Be, I don't, I don't understand. That how. doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense. None. At all. None. The, the one was in the semi final. One was in the final. And Bells was a better one. Was it was further the... out. I can't understand that. I couldn't understand. I it's because it's Ronaldo. Like just, when you carry a certain status, like certain people's minds just get nudged a certain way because it's a Champions because League it's final because, it's, because it, was, it was Ronaldo and, uh, it was 1-1 so that was a game defining goal like it, and, it was against that was a, and it was against Juve <sighs> but I was like for but, me yeah I don't know that goal and that, that goal has so many different reper- repercussions because obviously he scored Bale was talking about you know leaving Real Madrid because um, he wasn't getting enough time so he had to prove his, his worth Ronaldo at the end of that game spoke basically said that he's you know he, there's there's a chance he's gonna leave, um, and Liverpool on the back of that whole Champions League final it was like evidence that this keeper is not good enough. I know he didn't have no fault with that goal, but the fir- the 
first and the third, he was completely at fault. And then obviously Salah's injuries, people to this day are still still moaning about, talking about. So, so much happened in that game that is going to go down in history. But that goal itself, like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. But first, for me, has to be that man killing Mbappe. World Cup winner, 19 years old, youngest ever goal scorer in a World Cup final since Pele. Not ever, but since Pele. 17, uh, Pele was 19, Mbappe. And not only did he just win that World Cup, and for me, he was France's best player. I know you said Matuidi, um, and others have mentioned, you know, Pogba, etc. But goals win games. And I think the midfield of Kante, Matuidi, Pogba, they were brilliant as a union. The defence of uh, Pavard, uh, Varane, Umtiti, and um, who was the left back? It wasn't Kazawa, was it? No, it wasn't Kazawa. Was it, it wasn't Mendy, was it? No, it wasn't Mendy. It was um, Hernandez. Hernandez, yes, Lucas Hernandez. As a unit, they were they were brilliant going forward and at the back. But up front, Giroud did nothing in terms of goals. He did what he was. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. He did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> but he he didn't contribute in terms of goals. Griezmann was just a penalty merchant. And no one off the... Who was their players off the bench in that? G, I don't know who they was there. Um, They had Dembele. Okay. And they had... Um, oh, I know Coleman wasn't there. Payet yeah, wasn't there. They weren't there. It was... Um, who did they have? Marshall, Marshall didn't go, had, did he? No, no, the Marshall didn't go. No. They, had this, they had a striker. Uh, I want to say... I want to say Ginac, but it wasn't Ginac. They did have Ginac, actually. Was it Ginac? There was a, oh, there yeah. might be another one. But anyway, it was like... He was the man up front. He was the man. The man did so. The boy even did so much things in that World Cup. The the, the run that he did against, uh, I think it was Argentina from his like area right through you the heart of the fence. Argentina, who are? God, God, I don't care. This is the World Cup. This is the World Cup. Um, the goalie scored against Argentina, where he dragged it onto his left foot and and uh and put it past the keeper. And then obviously the goal in the final itself. I mean, I don't even know when the player taught me, when the young player taught me, but he took that World Cup by storm. And um, we know his name was on the map already, mm. but that that just put him on another level because the World Cup, as much as people in the debate, the World Cup is the highest level. Well, you know what I mean? People have come and gone from a World, from World Cup. Cup from but he was there before and I think he's going to be there after. But his name, for whatever happens, his name is going to be there for that to this day we still talk about David Suka for what he did at the <laughs> 1998 uh, World Cup um, for the lack of Champions Leagues that Ronaldo as in R9 did one we still talk about him mainly obviously not only but mainly because of his World Cup exploits um, I mean we don't really talk about Mirror stuff closer but maybe we should talk about him we a should. bit more and possibly we'll see if he can get back to some form Thomas Muller in years to come if he can um, potentially break that record but World Cups define players define careers uh, you're playing for your country and Kylian Mbappe I mean the guy is just amazing I was in France for the final itself so what you're telling me is that that was single-handedly the best World Cup performance you've ever seen no it oh, wasn't okay. but oh, in terms of the the, the, the co campaign yeah no no it wasn't um, I would say Ronaldo 2002 personally for me but the World Cup it comes every four years and I love it. And I think this was one of the best tournaments I've seen in, in, in a number of years. I think probably since 2002, for me, this was the best tournament. And the boy just took it by storm. And, you know, I'm, I'm not French. I wasn't supporting France. But by the end of it, <laughs> me and Mbappe were one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, that guy's amazing, man. And big things to come from him. But guys, let me know. what is your, What was your sporting moments of... 2018 um as we go forward into the new year what are you looking forward to this year kyle in terms of sports um obviously with my new arrival i hadn't been looking into 2019 <laughs> too hard um i've got a couple of stuff that i'm looking out for obviously still the rest of this season to play for yep. football um you got the super bowl upcoming mm. um but i'll probably say the the the, the two top is probably just football in general, um, mm. mainly the Premier League. 
um one because it's just super exciting and it has an extra element to it because we all play fantasy football and yeah, we look forward to that every year and it's just so banterous and it's just as, so much fun as uh heart wrenching <laughs> as it, it can as be as heart wrenching as it can be um what's that Tottenham score by the way 3-0 final score oh, cool, <laughs> um Harry Kane captain by the way um <laughs> It's between that and probably the upcoming MotoGP season mm. um, over the F1 season. Okay. Um, and I say that because Ferrari's been letting me down of recent because mm. I'm, I'm a Ferrari supporter. I support Ferrari um, and they're just not doing it. Um, I don't know if it's the car. It, mm. It's probably not anymore because the car's decent enough. Mm. It's down to the drivers now and the, the Vettel's, not, Vettel's not doing it. Um, but in MotoGP, after a good number of years out, BMW, they didn't register any cars to any bikes to race in MotoGP. They've launched a new car for two, a new bike for 2019, and I'm super excited for it to see it. Um, it was actually a bike that I was actually looking at getting for the future, which is coming out in April for the general public to buy. Okay. Um, and it's going to be in competition, so they're going to be back for the first time, um, and they're going to try and overhaul. Yamaha and mm. Ducati, you know, the and is, Va- is Valentino Rossi still doing? B- b- yeah, he races for Yamaha. Yeah, <coughs> um, he, didn't, <coughs> he, Yamaha. he didn't win it. He didn't win it this year. He didn't oh, win yeah, it this no, year. No, he, didn't, no. he didn't win it this year. But he's still definitely doing bits for Yamaha. So it's them and Ducati that are the the main bikes. Um, and BMW's bike. So far from the showrooms, what they've they've showcased, the bike looks incredible. So. I'm, I'm I'm probably pumped to see it in action. Hopefully, we don't see any more incidents of people trying to <laughs> trying to tamper with people's brakes while they're um while they're actually racing because that was disgraceful. Disgraceful. The guy trying to oh, listen. um he know he's been allowed back to race. I know, I oh, know. Man. That's ridiculous. It's, it's like, imagine should be out for it. If not, if not for life, for a number life. of years, like it's ridiculous. That's, that's how dangerous <laughs> that is. Yeah, anyway, for me, cricket World Cup. Um, I have no hope for West Indies, but. I'm going to be supporting them to the hill as I do all the time. And this time it's in England. Um, so, yeah, I'll be going to a number of the matches. Make sure I get all my all my merchandise, uh, my little my hat. Like, uh, Take a GoPro with you, bro. Might, uh, might do, might do. Um, but, yeah, it should be good. Hopefully I can chat to some of the players as well. Like so Chris Gale and that, which will probably be his last World Cup for West Indies. So if he can put in some good performances. I mean... When it comes to limited overs, West Indies, we always have a chance because of the power hitters we have. Um, so you never know. You never know. But I'm just happy to, to see us in the World Cup over in England. I think the last time I saw them was 1999 um, over here. So it's been a long time, long time coming in, in terms of the World Cup. Um, but guys, yeah, let us know your what you are looking forward to most in 2019 in the sporting world. Um, and make sure you check out all our other videos and tune in to our podcast next week. And we'll, of course, we'll be reviewing the big title clash between Liverpool and Manchester City at the Etihad. That's it from me and Kyle here with the Nick Sports Podcast. And we'll see you soon.